Hello everybody. I hope that you are all extremely well. So today I've had a topic in mind for a few days. It's been kind of hanging around and I was due to record the episode and um, something happened in my life and I got a bit thrown but it challenged my thinking around um, this particular topic. So, um, my topic for today is limitless. The fact that you are limitless, the fact that I am limitless, the fact that everybody in the world, every being in the world is completely limitless. And that thought challenges some people. I've always believed I've always liked the thought of it. I now actually believe it. We see t this, this type of stuff written all over social media. It's on quotes. It's, you know, thrown around quite a lot. But actually, I fully believe it because of some the stuff that I've seen happen over the last... 12, 18, 24 months. Um, well, if you kind of look at life and, and things that have happened in your life that you can't maybe explain, it might just feed into the idea. If you sit and kind of think, oh, how did that happen? Oh, oh yeah, because, because I'm limitless. Anything is possible. Um, so hi everybody, I am Rosanna Croft, I am your host of Design Your Legacy um, and with this episode I really hope to help you realise that the only limits that you have in your life are self-imposed and in actual fact you are limitless um, and I mention it in every episode, especially recently, that there are infinite possibilities available to you. This is something that's always been really interesting to me because I've, for the last seven years, I've been building a company, trying to build a very successful company. Um, we've had success. Um, and, you know, within that, there is, oh, Russell. Within that, there has also been a pandemic and um, I've had cancer. And throughout the last, the two most challenging years of my life and probably most people's lives, um, throughout these challenging years, it, I've been, I've proved to myself that I am limitless. And so I've always enjoyed it because I've always enjoyed the thought of, wow, so I can have anything I want. And that has always been quite superficial to me. And I say superficial, not in a negative way. I say superficial as in it's, I've never truly embodied it. I've never truly understood to the full extent of what is possible. Um, and it's just been very face value. So, oh yeah, yeah, I, I can do anything. Yeah, I know that, I get that, thanks. Moving on to panicking about the stuff that I wanna do and that I'm actually not managing to create in my life. Um, and and I, I think that's where a lot of people are when they speak about um, manifestation and uh, the law of attraction I think it's all a lot of it's all very face value whereas if you actually come to embody the actual principles you will realize to the extent of which you can create and the one thing that really bugged me about the law of attraction and the secret and um and 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 trying to manifest my goals and dreams in my life 
was you're always told to let go, to let go and surrender and let go of any expectations. Um, I've really struggled with that one because I like to control. So I've always very much um, held on tightly. And then if it's not happened, I have Beaten, potentially beaten myself up about the fact that it's not happened and then putting myself into a negative vibrate or a low vibration, not a negative vibration, because if we judge it, it makes it worse. Um, if we judge it, it makes us wrong. So, and we are never wrong, okay? We can't do wrong. We can, we, you cannot make a mistake. You cannot be wrong. You can only learn. And again, something that sounds excellent at face value is a lot more difficult to embody. So recently I have been learning of like how limitless I actually am. And, and obviously my most, the most, the biggest example I have got is healing cancer. It's a pretty big example, wouldn't you say? So um, there was just no doubt in my mind at any point that I would not heal and that I would, that, 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 was, that was the only thing that was ever going to happen. And whilst I was healing and whilst I was doing everything to help me heal, I went about my daily life as much as I could. So I effectively let go of it and surrendered and and lo and behold, it happened. And you know, it's not actually something I obsessed over. Maybe because I had other things that I was still trying to, I was still running a business. Um, I was trying to keep relationships going, um, friendships. I was, I was still trying to travel a bit of the UK when I could, when I was fit enough to. So, um, I had other stuff on my mind. I wasn't completely obsessed with healing cancer, but I knew that I could do it. And I knew that with every meditation, with every belief in myself and with every um, decision I made from my heart, I knew that I was getting there. And then, you know, I did it. And that's, I think that's the same with anything that you want to create in this life. As long as you're, making the decisions from your heart that you know are going to move you in that right direction you will that will absolutely manifest in your life in some way it may not be in the way that you expect it to so let go of your expectations but it will so i posted okay just rewind in two seconds it will because not only did I see that happen in my health, and I've seen it happen in other ways throughout my life before as well, um, but I'm now also seeing it happen in different ways in my life. And that's because I am more in tune with myself and source than I have ever been before. I am embodying this limitless reality and truly embracing that yes I still have the doubt days I still have the days where I question myself an hour ago I was thrown into a situation where I really had to question myself and I had to flip how I was thinking and come back to but Rosanna, remember that you're limitless. It does, what you want doesn't have to come from the way that you think it should or expect it to. And there we go. Um, knowing that if it's the right thing in your heart, and you will know because you will get a feeling in your body then go forward with it or not, depending on what that um, feeling is. So, and then fast forward, <laughs> I um, posted the other day about feeling limitless.
limitless and being limitless and I ask people to think about what it meant for them and I pose the same thing for you now. Um, what does being limitless mean to you? Take some time, journal on this, write about this, meditate on it because it's a really interesting question. So for me, one of the biggest things that comes up for me is limitless is being able to do anything I want, you know, it's freedom. It is having the thought of something and it manifesting in my life and, and things beyond my wildest dreams, something that I strive to create for myself, something that I have a deep, deep desire for you to create for yourself. I mean, well, we're all one effectively, or not effectively, we are all one. So um what I want for myself I also want for you and what I want for you I also want for myself and the same goes um vice versa so um but when I think about being limitless what really came to me as I was writing this post was um adventure and and feeling limitless and where I feel limitless and at the moment for me, that's actually in nature, climbing a mountain, or I, I was brought back to when I hiked Mount Batur in Bali um, for the sunrise. To me, that was, I felt at one with nature, I felt at one with myself, I felt at one with the universe. It was one of the most present mornings of my life. Um, and that to me is a huge example of being limitless. I had no want in the world. I had no care in the world apart from where I was then. So, to, so limitless, actually, if you peel that back, being limitless is very much being present. It is being in the now. Nothing else matters apart from where you are right now in this in this moment in this time in this space that is limitless um and that's really exciting to know that actually it's not outside of ourselves it is very much inside of ourselves we are limitless we are the present moment we are now we are the universe and the universe is now so any limits that you have placed on yourself any limits you believe you have in this world you have placed upon yourself that is not your fault it is not something you have done wrong it is just how our egos how our minds have been programmed from birth, from like for hundreds of years, especially since we're now in a consumer age where we are we are sold to every second of every day, especially if you spend a lot of time on social media, you're being you're you're being or even I really got my um there are some adverts on the tube at the minute that really get my goat and I, I hope to do a podcast about this potentially next week um, but that's a story for a different day literally so it be, and, and we're being sold to and what we're being sold is an idea of fear we're being sold that we are not good enough that we are not well enough that we are not capable enough that we are not we cannot do it we cannot do what we want we're being sold that we're limited right that is the furthest from the truth that that, it, that we could possibly get. Another challenge for you is ignore the advertising that you see. Spend a week say, seeing, looking at the advertising and going, mm, no, and just try and ignore it. Um, especially if it doesn't sit right with you. Some things, you know, you might be looking for a new bank and you might see the, you know, 
the bank that you are destined to work with on a sign um while you're walking down the road you know it, you it, that could be helpful but the the stuff that doesn't sit right with you the stuff that makes you feel heavy when you look at it or it makes you go oh i i want that or i'm not good enough just listen to the feelings inside your body and that will help you realize the kind of limits that you um, have placed on yourself and the limits that you can potentially work on to get rid of um, and you won't get rid of them straight away and you might never get rid of them at all but if you're aware of them you won't be held back by them so you can still live your most fullest potential in a limitless life so what does a limitless life mean for you does it mean traveling the world first class or in your own private jet, as I know a few of my friends have the incredible um, ambition of, or does it mean, does it mean you and your family can live the most adventure filled, l most loving, loving life, um, filled with joy and excitement and you know, it's, does being limitless mean creating one of the world's most successful companies? Maybe it does. I challenge you to also think about what your heart's desires are, not what your mind or your ego's desires are, because they're very, very different things. Um, I, I always had a desire to um have my jewelry seen on the red carpet and um well i want i um a goal of mine was to have a, a boutique on sloan square and the only the only catch was tiffany's had to move so, <laughs> so that would be my boutique now this is a very bad that was a very very ego driven goal and um not one that is actually for my highest self anymore I mean maybe it was back then because to be honest I didn't I didn't know what I know now um I just spend some time thinking about what your desires are and whether they are coming from the heart and and when you sit and listen to your heart as well you will know you'll get deeper insight into who you actually are and what you actually are and who you who you can become um and and your desires might change and your idea of being limitless might change now i did get a few interesting responses when i asked people to tell me what they thought of when um i said you are limitless and um some people have different visualizations or images that pop into their mind when i say that and that's absolutely incredible so what i'm saying now may not speak to you at all when i when i think of limitless it's what's available to us as human beings um and 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 that might that might not be right for you but just just have a think it's just a fun one to play with because the idea of being limitless for me makes me feel so empowered and connected to myself and connected to the moment like the eternal present moment and that is i think that that is extremely powerful i think the eternal present moment is the most well it is the universe it is source it is love it is the unknown it's um people are scared by it but in actual fact it's probably the most loving thing you could ever know um yes i guess this is a bit of a deep one really because it can challenge how you think and how you know if you're get maybe there's a resistance to hearing what i'm saying and that resistance could very much come from your ego being challenged and uh, and what your act and your beliefs being challenged um maybe you're struggling with something at the moment and you're screaming at your phone that 
well why isn't this happening for me i you know i have this limit you don't know what's going off in this area of my life you don't know what's happening here i am not limitless if i was limitless this wouldn't be happening and i would come back to you and challenge that and say well actually it's for your highest whatever challenge you're going through right now you wouldn't have been given it if you couldn't cope with it because you are limitless you wouldn't be you wouldn't be being challenged in this way if there wasn't something better waiting for you on the other side you just have to be bold enough to go out and and get it and and be bold enough to believe in yourself that much that you know that is going to happen you know it's going to happen no matter what and believe it so much that you just it's just a done deal you just don't it's just not even something that you need to worry about i think when you have that belief in yourself in the universe in whatever we are reality we are living in right now you will be absolutely shocked at what happens for you and it won't come in the way that you think it will i have the last couple of weeks of my life have been living proof of that um yes every day i vision the reality that i i visualize the reality that i want to see in my life and i do um joe dispense dr joe dispenza's work um to help me um realize actually my um limitless potential and the infinite possibilities that are available and um i highly highly recommend his work for anybody who doesn't who's who doesn't know who he is or is a little bit interested go have a read of his books watch some youtube videos um and he'll be able to articulate the science behind um what i am telling you so yeah i'm, I'm gonna leave it there because this is such a big thing but what i want you to know is that you really are you really really are limitless you can do whatever ever you want in this world if you want to travel like live the digital nomad life completely possible you want to make millions without doing very much completely possible um literally if you can think of it you can do it you might not be your highest it might not be you know you might be able to think of something but you don't actually really want to do that you know that's okay you don't have you don't have to and you don't have to want to do that you don't have to want all this big stuff that i kind of spout out um but if you can think it you really really can do it because it what that means is that somewhere in a in a different time in a different reality you've actually already lived that and you've actually already done it um and it's a, a good example actually is if you've read the midnight library i don't really read novels but i read it for a couple of reasons um and it really shook me to read it but what i did love was the example of you can live any life that you want to live which one do you choose um and in the end she chooses well no no don't no spoiler alert um i'll leave it with you to read if you haven't already read but it's just a really good example of um different realities and um if you are dreaming of something that you might like to do and if your heart is really saying yes yes i really really want to do this that means that you can absolutely do it and and so so much more um and as you as you grow as a person as you grow spiritually as you grow and develop in any aspect of your life um these uh, things will become clearer they'll become your desires will become clearer they'll become you'll just see them happening more easily um but you won't even care if you can really connect to yourself connect to your heart connect to the now the present moment 
connect to love, you really won't care whether they happen or not. And when the second that happens, they'll just, it will all inf unfold in front of your eyes. And it's like, it's like magic. It's, but it's like, um, like Peter Pan, you have to, in order to fly and to see it, you have to believe it. So there you go. We are limitless. You are limitless. I am limitless. The universe is limitless. Like we are, we don't even know the half of it. Um, but the more you connect to yourself and your heart, the more you will know, because that's the truth. I'm sending you so, so, so much love. Um, if you wanna learn more about um, who I am and what I do, you can connect with me on Instagram. You can um, have a look at my coaching services. Um, I have a group coaching call on the 19th of May. Um, so if you have a question or something that you're struggling with, um, it's by donation, minimum donation, £10, which just helps me put on the event. Um, it's all run on Zoom. You come along, pop your hand up, ask me a question and we'll, we'll see which, what answers we can get for you um, and see if we can help you work through some sticky stuff. So, okay, I'm done. I'm out. I love you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.